Well, I've heard it said that the aged are an ever-growing army, and with a little luck, we'll all someday get to be drafted. That's one of the reasons why Oklahoma is focusing efforts on attracting people into the nursing field to serve our seniors. Joining me now is our Lisa Hines. That's right, Rob. Certified nurse aides play a vital role in today's long-term care environment. But nationwide, there's a shortage of CNA workers. In Oklahoma, there is a statewide initiative to utilize funds from the Oklahoma Health Care Authority to introduce future workers into the industry, while also providing better care for residents. At the Stroud Health Care Center, quality care is a requirement. And Central Tech's Judy Pierce says her certified nursing assistant students learn just how much. The CNA training is important because our geriatrics that live in our long-term care facilities deserve quality care, respect, and for us to train our students the way that we would want to be treated in a nursing home and our family members. Because everybody here is somebody's mom or dad, brother, sister, son, daughter. It's all about excellent hands-on care, quality care. And according to Director of Nursing, Vicki Kime, the certified nursing assistants play an important role. They provide care that the nurse cannot provide. The nurse just does not have enough time during the day to do all the duties. And the CNA gets to be their confidant, their friend. They provide them, you know, with a, someone that they can talk to during the day and someone that they can tell their problems to. And it becomes someone that they can listen to. They almost become some type of a family member to them like an extension of their family and they can just and they can come to the nurse whereas the resident may not feel comfortable telling the nurse something they can tell the nurse and they can become their voice and let them know what they need. It's dedicated work and something CNA student Emma Torres says is a dream of hers. I just love it. Yeah, it just it changed my life. I just love to help people. Barbara Burden is a CNA instructor at Central Tech and says that love of helping people is critical. They have to have heart. They have to know that they want to do this. They have to have the care and the, the feeling to take care of the elderly people. If you don't have that, you don't belong in this field. For Ashley Howard, it's all about moving up the CNA career ladder. You learn to love your job more and what you do and appreciate and understand what you're taking care of, how's a better way to approach them. I mean, you have a lot of people in here that need special care and have a lot of special needs that need to be met. And each day is a challenge, but they teach you to learn how to deal with them challenges. And not only learn how to deal with them, but you can also mentor and teach your other co-workers a better way of dealing with them. You get more responsibility, you, you earn more knowledge, you gain a lot of compassion for what you do. Hello, John. And Ashley's sister, Erica, is using her CNA certification as a stepping stone in the nursing world. I've been through the CNA program, the CNA 2. I worked my way up to a CMA, uh, the medication aid. I've been through the advanced classes of that, and I am now an LPN. All beginning with just a three-week course in a program that is a win-win situation for nursing homes. We kind of hand select the people we want to hire from the career tech, so yes, they stay longer and they fit in. and. When they do their training, we kind of see if they're going to fit our needs. And it, it becomes a great situation to where as we're not having expenditures trying to train somebody that's not going to stay. So we see them beforehand if they're going to stay, keep our costs down. And, and the, the residents are happy because they've already met the student. And sometimes they'll recommend, hey, that would be a great person for us to hire. Why don't you hire them? Why don't you think about that? I like them. They do good work. And that, that helps us a lot where they get to see the person as a student and, see, and let them kind of decide, too, if it, it's going to work for them. I have your medicine. And puts them on the path. How are you this morning? To a future doing what they love. Trouble this morning. By helping people. Thank you, and I'll bring you some Tylenol, okay? okay? Now, each of these people we just talked to received a full scholarship from the Oklahoma Health Care Authority for their training and certification. In return, they've agreed to work in a Sooner Care licensed long-term care facility for at least one year. So, if someone's seeing this, how do they go about applying for one of these full scholarships, Elisa? Well, Rob, this training is offered by several technology centers and OSU. It's short term, only three weeks long, but it can be an entryway into a rewarding career. And we have a link on our website to the schools around the state offering the program.
All right. Thank you so much, Elise. You're welcome, Rob.